Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to determine whether a reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Regardless of the reaction that you're given, you're going to follow the same basic principles. So if we look at this case here, what we're ultimately trying to decide is whether the reactants are more stable or the products are more stable. In order to understand how that might be helpful, let's take a look at these um, diagrams. So in this diagram here, this x-axis is the potential energy and this is the reaction progress. In both ends, we're always starting with the reactants, allowing the reaction to happen, and then ultimately we're left with the products. In the exothermic case, the reactants have a higher overall energy than the products. Remember that whenever you are at a lower energy, you're more stable. So exothermic reactions provide us with a more stable compound. So this one here would be more stable, simply because of the lower energy. In the endothermic case, you're going to have to take energy in in order to have the products be overall higher energy. So now let's look at the reaction. This is going to require a little bit of your own knowledge. Consider oxygen gas. On a typical day, is it diatomic or is it monatomic? Hopefully you know your diatomics and oxygen is one of them. So if oxygen preferentially is in the diatomic state, that means that this here is the more stable species that we have. So because we're going from less stable to more stable, we're talking about the exothermic case, and exothermic is represented by a negative enthalpy value. And that is how you would figure out if a reaction is exothermic or endothermic. 